The concepts of area and volume are related. However, we calculate area for flat objects only. And the volume is calculated for three dimensional objects. So an easy way to understand the difference is that three dimensional objects can hold water, for example, whereas flat objects cannot. Thinking of geometry, so a flat object would be a rectangle and a three-dimensional object will be a rectangular prism. It could be a triangle as a flat object or a triangular prism as a 3D object. And while circle is a flat object, a sphere or a ball is a three-dimensional object. So we will calculate areas for flat objects, and we can calculate both area or volume for three-dimensional objects. While volume is a lot of times associated with three-dimensional objects, we may also be asked to calculate an area of the surface, for example, for these three-dimensional objects. Now let's discuss the area and volume for triangle and triangular prism. So the area for triangle, which is a flat object, equals to one half times base times height. So the height is driven to the base at a 90 degree angle. And you can see on our graphic base in green and height in blue. Looking at the triangular prism, we can calculate the volume of the prism. It has a triangle at its core and it is extended by the length. So that length adds the third dimension to the triangle. And to calculate the volume, we need to use the same parts as in calculating the area. So one half times base times height for the triangle. That is a part of the triangular prism. And then in addition to this, we would need to multiply by the length. Once we perform this operation, we would find the volume of the triangular prism. Now we'll discuss rectangle and rectangular prism. The area of rectangle equals to width times the length. Rectangle is a flat object. So for example, if our width is five inches and the length is 10 inches, then our area would be five times 10 or 50 square inches. Now, rectangular prism, we may be asked to calculate the surface area, in which case we will just calculate the area of each of the sides. But more often, we'd be more interested in calculating the volume. And the volume of the prism has, again, the same formula from the area, which is width times length. And then the third dimension, which is height, also needs to be multiplied. So the formula for the volume would be width times length times height. Most of the area and volume formulas are provided on the instruction page of both math sections.